Welcome back to Dakota Falls, where we've just built this highly detailed old money island lined with expensive mansions and a cozy downtown marina. Everything's just great. The inhabitants are enjoying fine wine and stock manipulation, and you guys just loved the build. Well, mostly loved it anyways, because I sort of cheaped out on the connection to the mainland where I built this sort of dangerous at-grade highway intersection. So today we're fixing up this mess, replacing it with an overly complex interchange and hopefully earning ourselves a spot in the Hall of Fame of American planners. And if you enjoy my content, then hitting the like button will literally do wonders for this video. And remember to subscribe and enable notifications if you don't want to miss out. I've realized that almost 80% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the results of this reminder will be. I'll make sure to bring an update here on the channel and give you guys some insights into juicy YouTuber analytics. The intersection we've got here is actually pretty well functioning. I used the traffic manager mod to configure some, uh, some time traffic lights on both of the junctions. Uh, and they're obviously not perfectly configured um, because uh, quite a bit of queue actually gets backed up here and there isn't you know, the best flow. Uh, through it. Uh, an intersection like this on an interstate isn't completely unheard of, but it's probably more likely uh, for a very small interstate that crosses a smaller towns uh, and where the overall speed limit is lower. And I don't really think that's the case for the interstate system we have here in Dakota Falls. So that's why it makes sense to upgrade this from an intersection to a proper interchange and just securing a constant flow uh, throughout. So first I'm just gonna quickly clean up this entire area so that we don't have a bunch of trees and, and rocks to uh, to mess up our attempts to planning this out. I'm also just gonna reset this, uh, this stretch of, uh, of the interstate so that we, uh, we don't have any uh, different segments. We just got these very very basic segments here. Um, because before I had to sort of wide, widen the layout a bit to make room for the, the middle segment. Obviously that's not really needed anymore. So um, hopefully we're able to just make some very, very smooth connections here and be done with it. And we are. I'm going to use the network multi-tool mod uh, throughout. Um, I don't use all features to the fullest extent because I'm no expert, but I really do recommend this mod if you're, yeah, if you just want to have some uh, very nice tools and, uh, yeah, nice tools to just configure roads and, and highways. Next up, I'm going to lower this because I want this um, this main road here to go underneath um, our future interchange so i'm just going to lower it to ground level and make sure to lower this pillar as well uh, and this is already a pretty nice change it creates like a really nice bend here or curvature and then we're going to we're going to grab this uh, this main this main road here and then we're gonna cut through or uh, sorry under the uh, the interstate and i'd like to add a bit of complexity to the interchange here so that it's just not just a completely standard one that always makes it a little more fun for me to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this main road here uh, split into two main roads and then we'll uh, place a roundabout actually in our attempts at uh, at creating the, the complexity we want. So if we sort of split them up so that we've got an additional main road sort of leaves here and cuts through the county. Uh, I imagine this is south wards and this is, this is heading north and we're gonna fix this up in just a second. I just want to get all the roads and ramps in place first in a just ugly manner just to get an overview of what I'm actually actually building. I'm going to uh, grab this uh, roundabout builder mod and I'm gonna click here and I'm not going to do that because I forgot to configure the, the scale of the roundabout. So as you guys saw, um, because I didn't actually uh, uh, make the scale smaller, we had an absolutely massive roundabout and that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to try again, but this time I'm going to 
click minus to just adjust it. I'm gonna try starter to make it really really small, and then we can uh, we can always configure if uh, if need be. I'm gonna create a very very simple uh, ramp here, and I'm gonna gonna give good space, not make it too tight. And like I said, it's just gonna be a very very rough uh, setup here, very rough creation as a starter. And I'll see. I grab this node as well, and we'll create uh, an on ramp here to the highway over here, like so. And then we will create a direct connection here, adding complexity and confusion and just making sure that just because we're removing a dangerous intersection and converting it to an interchange, it doesn't mean that this place isn't dangerous. You know, cars are pretty dangerous and traffic, uh, complex traffic hotspots are dangerous and we want to continue that. It's more fun. And I guess it's also more realistic just overall. So we'll create an on-ramp here and we'll of course need an off-ramp over here. And I don't mind a bit of it being a bit asymmetrical. I think that looks looks better even. Uh, we'll just we'll just do a little more cleaning and remove some of these rocks. We are of course going to detail all this stuff up uh, when we are done figuring the highway so don't worry oops a little too uh furrow with my cleanup here connecting these two great um let's see does it make sense to create a direct connection here as well just for the heck of it i think it does so we'll do like this and then the question is if we should also this connection and we are so now we've certainly got a bit of complexity going but I've got this I've got this feeling just this this sense inside that we can make it more complex so perhaps if we upgrade this to a two laner and then allow for a connection let's see if I can find a note down here a connection here as well it already looks pretty nice it's obviously it's it's not done that's uh, that's for sure but i'm uh, i'm already starting to uh, to like it i need to upgrade the road type that i've used here uh, obviously because this looks a little out of place so i'm actually grabbing this uh, vanilla two lane one way road with grass and then if we uh, if we switch the surface type to dirt then it should actually just look like grass due to the theme mixing we did in the other video uh, and it does and I'll go in here and we are going to remove the street lamps we can place those manually when we are a little more progressed here let's see if I can actually uh, I'm having some real issues finding the notes here there you go there you go and we'll just we upgrade this and we will bump this up to a two laner. Awesome. So this is our basic setup. And before I start messing with the, the roads and the, you know, the curves, I'm just going to make sure that I have the, the height I want throughout. I think this is pretty well aligned. I excuse the lag. Yeah, and then I just want to make sure. So the roundabout is slightly elevated, which I think is fine. I just want to make sure that all the nodes are the exact same height. So I'm going to select all of them and then would move it and hit Control H and click this node. And it seems they're all perfectly aligned anyways. So no problem at all. I'm just going to go through with node controller and just clicking is going to make a change. And that's because I have it automatically configured in the mod settings so that whenever I click a node, it automatically slopes it. So instead of it being flat, it, uh, it slopes it. And that, that does help a lot with, well, the slope, obviously. I'm just going to go ahead and click all my nodes. And this will also help highlight us where we've got uh, some issues. 
Um, so for instance, if the, uh, the dot here is red, it means that these two nodes are so close squeezed together that cars, the, the traffic will have issues uh, going through this segment. They might like jump in and out of the like ground or, or other graphical issues. It's the same here because this, uh, this segment here is, uh, is too close. But yeah, just um, clicking everything with node controller just to let it kind of auto fix some of the smaller issues that we're seeing. And we've got a big node here as well. And we've got one here as well. Great. So I'm going to hold on with the, uh, the roundabout, I think. I think the first thing I'm going to do now is try to align uh, the ramps perfectly with, uh, with the interstate because that's going to give us uh, a pretty good sense of the scale we are going to need. So let's uh, just upgrade these segments to elevated segments so that they they actually blend in because obviously most of this is elevated. We'll uh, do the same here. And I'm guessing that it's going to look a little better if we elevate this segment as well. Now I'm going to do some uh, more manual node alignment just to make things look nice and for these nodes i'm gonna stretch them out and then we're gonna come in with imt intersection marking tool to uh, create our custom markings here something i also like to do uh, with these uh, type of roads is just lower the actual scale of the whole node to 90 because that creates a more sleek look uh, we've got some huge sh shoulders on this highway network and it's probably realistic, but to be honest, I'd, I'd rather sacrifice a bit of realism just for uh, aesthetics, which uh, shouldn't surprise any of you guys by now. So I'm just going to come through and lower the, the, the size to 90 throughout. And before I start configuring each of the nodes and making the intersection on and off ramps look pretty in a little time lapse, I'm gonna try my best to adhere to lane mathematics this time around and actually upgrade these to some uh, some free lane segments so that there's uh, a good m time for a, a merge segment merge segment Ugh. Uh, and uh, the same for the the off ramps so we are upgrading to free lane segments here just to ensure that uh, there's plenty of plenty of room for merging if I use node controller, I can hold down shift. I can click this corner and I can click this one and it's going to align. So that's a nice little tip. Uh, you hold down shift and then you click the corner that you want to align uh, first and then the corner you want to align with and you get your alignment. And it's really handy when you have these um, these type of intersections here where you, you've got several roads of different widths connecting to a, to a larger road. So in this case, uh, we can choose to actually bring this one up, for instance. So, uh, or you can do it the other way. Alternatively, that's uh, kind of up to you. It just means that the alignment is uh, so much better. And then you can, of course, come in with node controller and select a node and adjust it uh, a little nicer. Um, but uh, now we're just gonna we're gonna jump into getting this uh, intersection part, the on and off frames looking real nice.
All right, so we're just about ready to start detailing up some of these uh, completely uh, texture MT junctions with the intersection marking tool mod. But before we do that, I've got a few nodes here that I want to fix in this roundabout. It's a bit of a complex thing, uh, but we've got an awesome tool as part of the network uh, multi-tool mod. So if we come down here and we select arrange at circle mode, we'll actually be able to select this roundabout and then individually adjust the nodes to our liking. And as we can see here, these two nodes are just a little too close, causing some clipping. Uh, and this node here is uh, a little too much in this direction because you can only turn right when you depart here uh, from this off ramp. So preferably we move it a little right here so that it's a little, it's a little closer to this node. To achieve this, we simply select all nodes, like so. Then you click once more, and this brings you an overview of the roundabout. You can also adjust the size of it, which is very cool. Uh, but most importantly for us, it allows us to just adjust the nodes ever so slightly. So if I move this node in this direction, and also just create a bit more space now between these two nodes, and then I hit enter, then hopefully, things are looking a little better and most of the clipping here is fixed and the remaining clipping should be easy to fix with uh, some manual configuration with node controller and over here it's a very welcome change as this node got move uh, got a lot closer to this one so it's 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 much more it's much more of a smooth curve for uh, for vehicles and also just a slight correction, I said that if this dot is red, then the node will uh, have issues or the segment will have issues for uh, for traffic. That's not the case. It's if the actual lines here are red. So for instance, uh, this segment here is going to cause some issues while this one is actually fine. And as you guys can see, traffic is already flowing through uh, our new interchange quite well. Uh, there's, of course, lots of lane rules and other stuff that we'll need to fix. But the, the thing that's going to make a huge difference now is using the intersection marking tool to decorating up all these junctions here and just creating a complete package. Um, I'm going to try and create some templates for some of the lines I'll be using. Uh, because um, the, the three elements that kind of uh, repeat themselves throughout this uh, entire interchange is this uh, this thin yellow line, uh, this thin white line, and of course this um, this uh, dotted line here, the, the, the white one. So by just choosing this one and decorating that up and adding those lines as templates, that's going to give us a much easier job uh, decorating up some of the other junctions. So if we hold down, if we click here and hold down shift, it's going to create a solid line. And we're going to create our very, very first of these templates now. So I'm just going to uh, adjust the color ever so slightly and see when we uh, when we hit the, uh, the right one we'll be using. And this seems like a pretty good fix. Or style, sorry. <laughs> and the only thing we can configure here is the width. And it seems like... Uh, 0.1 meters is probably the width that is actually being used by this, uh, this type of interstate network that I'm using here, which is nice. What we can do now is we can go up here and we can say save as template and we can just say solid yellow for a name and hit enter and say OK. And if we go back to our line now, uh, what we can do is we, we are able to uh, to open up the templates. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's this one, apply a template. And then we can actually find what we want. Now I've just shown you guys how to actually do this, but I've also just realized that the creator of this wonderful uh, highway pack uh, in the run has actually added these templates already. So I should be able to just choose this yellow solid. It pretty much looks exactly like the template I just created. But I'm curious that if we grab this one and align those, then if I go into templates and take the white solid, then that's actually a little too thick. So I wonder, oh, it's the white one. So if I just pick this one, there you go. So we've actually got all the templates necessary for us to create um, here, which is... Um, Obviously, that's pretty awesome. 
So we're just gonna come through and we just create a, a sort of a, a symbol setup here. And let's see if we can do, 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 do. We've got some, let's see. If we got wide expression, is that? No, that's not what we want. Line markings, that's not the one. Lane, there you go. It's uh, simply called lane. Perfect. Here though, I'm going to make a solid. And here I'm going to make a solid as well. And we're gonna apply the very same uh, template to both of these, of course, the solid ones. White solid, there you go. Now I'm going to hold down Alt. This allows me to create a filler in between uh, these uh, segments. And we've got stripes and we can ch change these to chevrons. And I know that if you're a bit nerdy about it, uh, you actually spent your time aligning the chevrons. I'm not going to do that. That's just going to take a little too much time for now. So here we got a pretty nice setup. Now, the cool thing is that while we can copy each line and we can copy the style of the filler, we can also copy paste the entire markings. So if we copy this, we can imagine that if we have a similar situation where we have a two laner and a one laner uh, converging to a three laner, then we should be able to paste these markings. And if we move over here, that's exactly what we've got, right? We've got an on ramp here that merges with the two lane uh, intersection, uh, intersection, interstate segment to become three lanes. So if we click and hit paste, and we just had to turn clockwise once and hit apply and we're good to go. But there is actually another really cool thing we can do because here we've got the opposite type of, uh, of node, of course, where we've got a three lane interstate seg segment turning into a two lane that continues and then the off ramp. So if we select paste here and cycle through the options, then obviously it's all going to look a little weird. But if we click inverse order and select through, then boom, we've suddenly got what we want. And we can say apply, then we can just copy this and we can move to the opposite uh, segment over here, which has the same setup, three turning to two and one. And we can select, there you go, apply. And that covers all four of these. And of course, this looks much, much better. So we are going to uh, to go ahead and do much of the markings for all of these um, for all of these uh, notes, and it's it's gonna look so great in the end.
right, so uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I am I'm terrible at doing markings, so they always end up a little random. And the reason I'm terrible is that I don't know a whole lot about how to do traffic markings uh, or you know all the rule sets. So this roundabout, for instance, could probably be quite a bit better. But we've gotten we've gotten very far now. Uh, so I'm just gonna make some uh, some slight adjustments. We've got some arrows here, which I'd like to remove. Just the two here from the roundabout. The rest are fine. As you guys might be able to see, I've went in with the lane connector just to connect up some um, some nodes here as well. So if we say Control S, then it's going to automatically set up the uh, the lanes. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here so that we don't have cars that just cross straight across here. Uh, cross, uh, go across the chevron. We don't want that. I've also made sure to uh, create some uh, some lane maps here so that if you uh, drive where this car is driving and you want to get onto the highway, you of course take this on ramp here that is available to you. Um, there's not much more to do than to just add in some uh, some of our, our very, very nice uh, trees. Uh, we've got a, a fall theme going on, as you guys can see. And I'm using forest brush because it allows me to create a brush of trees and set exactly the percentage of any given tree that I want. And then what I can do is, of course, I can increase the size and the strength to create like an actual forest. Uh, area which is what we're just gonna do for these, uh, these more these more open areas uh, like so that's fine and then what I like to do is just reduce the size and the strength to one because this allows me to set these trees individually and just create my my own uh, forest areas uh, a little more intricate this way also if I don't want to place this one I can just uh, right click and I get the next one in the uh, in the set. So um, that's a very nice feature. So I'm just gonna place some uh, some trees throughout here, throughout this area, and I'll uh, decorate up with some uh, some rocks as well, and some of the the grass uh, props that we uh, that we had before, the ones we've got down here. just adding some very very final touches ensuring that the two uh, the two small highways here that we added in the very beginning uh, are actually connected up our main roads right are connected up to a main stretch road up here so that hopefully we'll also see a bit of traffic coming uh, through here this way just to create a little more yeah make a little more traffic and a little better looking it's a really nice bridge and we're just gonna come in with our slope mod here to make this slope a little more smooth and i'm just gonna add some trees and smooth out some of the uh some of the terrain here ever so slightly and uh, and that's pretty much it and we've now exactly got that traffic coming in from uh, from the the main road running all the way out here on the other part of the county near the, the massive mountain range so that's perfect looks fantastic to get it done thank you so much if you stuck with me for for this uh, long uh, it's been a very cozy build for me to create it's uh, very late at night here uh, right now so uh, Lots of fun for me, really chill, nice build. If you got suggestions, feedback, whatever it may be, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to reach, uh, read, 
read as many of them as uh, as possible uh, but that's a that's a wrap folks thank you so much for watching uh, have a nice evening or, or morning or whenever whenever you're watching this uh, and i'll see you all in the next one bye